Welcome to Lab at Five. Thank you for joining us. We're going to continue our journey through the book of James, and we're going to be in James chapter three. Now, what James is going to do in chapter three is he's going to talk about the tongue, our mouths, if you will. Uh, James talks more about the mouth than anyone else in the Bible. In fact, every single chapter, he mentions something about our tongues or our mouth. So what he's going to do today is he's going to talk about what we're going to look at today. He's going to give us three reasons why we need to control our tongue. So come with me to chapter 3. And we're going to read verses 2, 3, and 4. It says, For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble, what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. Now the word there, perfect, does not mean perfect. It means mature. And what James is saying is we are mature when we can control our mouth. Why? Because our, mouth, our mouths direct, our tongues, if you will, directs where we go. And he gives us two examples. He's talking about the bit in a horse's mouth. Now, again, I'm a city boy, but I remember being at Prairie Meadows. I was working off duty as a deputy sheriff there. And I remember the races being run. I remember getting up to the rail, and looking down the, the racetrack and see these gigantic animals running at us. And here's this little jockey on top of this, this gigantic animal. And he's controlling that animal with just a little teeny bit. So what, what, what James is trying to talk about is this, is our tongue is small, but it can direct where we go. James also tells us, number two, it can destroy what we have. Look at verses five and six, it says this. It says, so also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life and set on fire by hell. Now James uses an illustration here. He talks about a forest fire. Now if you know anything about forest fires, and we see this in the news, it just starts off with just a little spark and it can just ruin everything. It can destroy forests, it can destroy livestock, it destroys homes, and also can destroy people. So what he's talking about is our tongues can destroy just like that. When I was writing this and thinking about it, I was wondering how many marriages, careers, reputations, churches, or friendships have been destroyed by our tongues, by what we say, by our mouths. Let me give you a couple examples of how our tongue can start fires. How about this one? Gossip. Gossip spreads very quickly and just tears people apart at times. Slander. Now, slander, this is spreading false stuff. It can just destroy lives. Or how about people who boast? Boasting, I'm a little bit better than you. You see, Sometimes we forget that the tongue gives us a way. And by that I mean this, our tongue, what we say, our mouths, if you will, give us a way. It shows what's in our hearts. Let me give you six examples. It says this, a harsh tongue reveals an angry heart. A negative tongue reveals a fearful heart. An overactive tongue reveals an unsettled heart. A filthy tongue reveals an impure heart. A critical tongue reveals a bitter heart. What James is telling us is our tongues give us away. Our tongue directs where we go, our tongues can destroy what we have, and our tongues tell other people what's inside our hearts. 
we can act and, and say all sorts of things about how much we love Jesus, but our tongues always give us away because it shows our hearts. We have to be very, very careful of our tongues. Now tomorrow, what we'll talk about is how we correct this. How we correct this, five things. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Father help us to control our tongues. We all have a problem with it. We all have a problem with shooting our mouth off. We all have a problem saying things that we shouldn't say. Father, let us realize that our tongues give us away. It shows what's in our hearts. So Father, help us in that area. We all need help here. Again, Father, thank you for my brothers and sisters. And thank you for your word. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow.